Bitcamex has just released the X900 a smart key LCD key fob, which has very similar capabilities to this key fob, but it has additional features and a different style. And on this video, I'm gonna compare both of them side by side so you guys can decide which is the right key fob for you, and I'll show you its features and how it functions. Now, as always, I'd like to remind you that I have placed a link in the description down below to both of these key fobs if you guys wanna look at them further or acquire one for yourself. My fellow car enthusiasts, welcome back. I am Alex the Car Guy, and on this channel, I review cool car gadgets and other accessories that I find for your vehicle. So if those are the kind of videos you like, make sure you guys subscribe by hitting the button down below to see more videos like this. And now let's take a look at the Fitcam X a Smart Key X900. But if you haven't seen our first video where we show you how to upgrade from a standard remote to an LCD key fob, you may want to see that video first or otherwise what we say here may not make sense. So we'll drop the link down below if you want to see that. The X900 comes with the same accessories as a prior one and the process of upgrading from a standard key to this LCD key fob is the same for this one as it was for the prior one. And here's the X900 side by side for a comparison and as you can see the format remains about the same and same thing with the size. The X900 does gain this little ear so it can be mounted on a keychain. Now the X900 also has a very sleek front because all the buttons have been moved to the side which makes sense considering that this is a touchscreen LCD remote. Now the screen itself is the same size in between both of them. It just looks like it's a little bit larger or more hidden in here because of how flat and stealthy this design is. But let's talk about the buttons. Both of these remotes support a total of four remote keys. On this one you have four buttons right here and then we have the power button on the upper right hand corner. The X900 has three buttons on the left hand side and then we have the four button on the right hand side. The power button continues to be in the same area but it is now a little bit larger and a little bit easier to access in my opinion than it was on here because it's a little bit recessed and smaller. However, this may be a pro or a con depending on how you look at it. In here, you might accidentally turn on your screen more than you need to, depleting the battery faster, where in here, because it's a little bit smaller, you will probably won't be turning on the screen by accident. But now let's see this bad boy in action. I'm gonna turn on the Fitcam X X900 LCD key fob. Beautiful touchscreen. And as you can see, we have the digital buttons right here to lock and unlock the vehicle. And if I swipe over the screen, I have access to two more buttons, which can potentially be the trunk or could be something else like perhaps the panic button on the vehicle. Now these four buttons right here represent the four buttons on the side. So we can do this physically here or through the touchscreen over here. Now if I keep swiping on the screen, you can see that we get to some options. The first one is gonna be the keyless entry. Now the keyless entry is an optional function and if this is connected to the vehicle, to the OBD port of the car, then the key fob can lock or unlock the doors automatically for us. Now we had this function before on the prior key fob, but on here they have added sensitivity settings, which means is the range. At what point do we want the locking or unlocking to happen? And they have added a total of six sensitivity settings or how far away you walk from the car before the actual locking or unlocking happens. So far I've been experimenting with this and I like close. But let's go to the next menu option and that is going to be the auto lock functionality. Certain cars are able to close their windows with the remote and this remote allows us to do that automatically when we walk away from the vehicle. And we had this functionality before on this one. However, in here we can fine tune it a little bit more by changing the number of seconds before that functionality kicks in and let's go to the next one and this is where it gets really exciting because we can change the car logo again this is the same functionality we had here before we have a long list of logos that we can select from i'm going to show you just one for example the honda we'll go back over here and you can see that the honda logo is now shown on the screen let's look at the logos one more time and here is the part where this is very different than the prior remote and that is because it has the ability for us to put a custom logo and this is something a lot of people had asked and I have loaded my custom logo and I want to show it to you and it's the SRT logo. Perhaps you have a Hellcat, perhaps you have a Dodge Neon SRT4 like myself and look how cool that looks. 
it actually animates the logo it makes it blow up and come up not only in the startup screen but in this little wallpaper which i think is really cool but i don't have a ferrari what if i have an s34 or a hellcat as i said earlier well again we have a new functionality over here which is changing the picture that is displayed on the screen now there's already a certain number of cars that are included in this key fob but they have given us the ability to select our own picture i have also created and loaded my custom picture of my srt4 I'm gonna go back over here and let's take a look at that gorgeous neon and I go over here turn that on so we can load that correctly and if I swipe over there is my Dodge Neon SRT4 it doesn't get better than that when you can customize this with the screen of your actual vehicle well let's go to the next item on the menu and that is going to be the remote start option this is only going to work if the current remote that you have already supports a more remote start that functionality can transfer over to this new key fob and I'm going to turn it on and we can here tell the key fob exactly how we want that functionality to work what method to use what key should it press and and how long to press it for so it automates the process instead of you having to press some combination on your original key fob now the uh, lcd key fob has a custom screen that has a start stop engine button on it <laughs> that is really really cool now again this is only gonna work if your current key fob already has remote start on it if it doesn't have remote start then this is not gonna work for you however there is another kit that you can buy that will add remote start to any vehicle i'll put a link to the description if you want to look at that kit for the remote start option but let's go back to the main screen because there's something else i want to show you as you can see they have added an icon right here which is going to show when this is effectively connected to the vehicle if you decide to use the comfort function where it locks and unlocks the door automatically and also there is going to be an additional icon over here that is going to show what the last command that was sent so if you're using the comfort function where this locks and unlocks your car you will be able to see on the screen if the car was locked or unlocked the last time you walked away from it now let's talk about recharging the key fobs so this one uses a micro usb port and the x900 uses a usb c port so for battery life fitcam x doesn't mention any changes for the battery so it seems that they both last about the same but how long does it actually last fitcam x rates the battery as lasting a few days and now that i've had this for a while i can tell you it's like using your phone if you're on it all the time it's going to consume the battery way faster than using it normally and so what happens when you don't recharge it well after a couple of days the screen's no longer going to turn on so does this thing turn into a brick at that point well, no. Fitcam X says that the physical buttons actually still work for about a month until the reserve battery is depleted. And at that point, you will need to recharge the key fob to continue using it. And here's the secret feature I mentioned in the beginning of the video. If you click the power button five times, you actually get a hidden menu where you can further fine tune the remote. You can set the brightness level, how long it takes before it turns off, keep the screen all the time. But remember, changing these settings can either increase or decrease how long the battery lasts. So hopefully this video helps you decide which LCD remote is right for you. We placed the link below to both of the remotes if you want to look at them further. And if you guys have any other questions regarding the X900 smart key, please put that in the comments down below. If you found any part of this video helpful, please hit that thumbs up button and support our channel. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned because more cool gadgets are coming up.